Although I've been fishing the long leg stone for several years on the Arkansas River, I only recently published the pattern on YouTube. To demonstrate its effectiveness, I'm fishing the fly in this video as a two fly set on a contact nymphing rig. I'm fishing the east bank of the river in the Browns Canyon Wilderness Study area. They have to walk in from Ruby Mountain. So I'm fishing the Arkansas in mid-September. Flows about 300. I'm fishing a double set of the long leg golden stone. The river's as low as I've ever seen it. So, but it's opened up some new holes because of that. So I'm gonna fish this guy. I'm fishing four and a half X tippet and I've sharpened each hook in a triangular point with my little diamond dab. It's about 10 a.m. in the morning and it was down to 26 last night. So I'm hoping the, the fish have kicked into gear again. Nothing here. Got him up on the upswing. But there it is, the long leg stone. Took the dropper. So, of course I had the camera off when I hooked it. There it is. Long leg stone. You can see how it holds, holds back on itself. The legs are quite flexible as compared to other stonefly, rubber leg stonefly patterns. So I'm going to go out and fish by this big boulder, relatively big boulder. But I'm going to use that line of boulders across from it to hide my approach with an eye of, of hitting first at that side stream there between the two boulders, the bigger boulders. Okay, I'm still fishing the long leg stone. And you can see how flexible those legs are. They folded back along the body as I fish it. And they're quite flexible in the flow. In the flow. So I'm fishing close in first. Got him. Oh. <laughs> well, it's 
So there it is. Okay, so I retrieved it off the bottom. Still fishing the double golden stone set, the long leg stones. And I've uh, cut off about four inches of the tippet and retied and then resharpened everything. There we go. Nice one. Hey, what am I saying? They're all nice. This thing's got some spawning color, it looks like. Oh, there you are, you gotta fish these boulder lines. So I'm using these rocks to sort of sneak up on this hole. We've got the long-legged stone on both. A 20-inch dropper, 20-inch point fly with a 6-inch, 7-inch dropper. So I'm fishing nearby first clear out the small guys if or whatever but you can see the deeper water that I'm heading for Trying to control my slack. You can see the fly bouncing. There, right on the uplift. The swing. They've been hitting the swing. These are active fish. Okay. So the long-legged stone is my go-to anchor fly in the Rocky Mountain region, as long as the golden stones are screened up when I test the river. Um, I use it as a the point fly on a two-fly or three-fly Euro rig that uh, is set up to be heavy enough that I can bottom bounce it down these rocky streams that I fish in. Um, as it moves and bounces down the stream, it imparts a jigging action to move the legs. The long leg stone was the fly that this 27 inch rainbow took in Browns Canyon. That's about three miles south of the stretch I was fishing today in this video. For scale, the cork handle of the fly rod in the picture is six inches long.